Hey, I'm Gina Jordan, and I'm sitting here with Long Island's Mom of the Year, Dina mm -hmm. Lohan. That's right. And coming up on this episode of In The Mix on VVH TV. We're going down memory lane with Dina Lohan to talk about her new show, Drama Mamas, and we set the record straight when it comes to those infamous Lohan rumors with a game called Truth or Myth, plus this week's Restaurant of the Week. Here we go. You are in the moment. You are in the mix. In the mix with Chris Rock. I'm Alec Baldwin. I'm here with the gorgeous Gina. I'm Larry King, and you're watching In the Mix. I'm Kelly Ripa, and you're watching In the Mix. I'm Matt Lauer, and you're watching In the Mix. I'm Kathy Lee. And I'm Hoda. And you're watching In, in the, the mix. mix. I'm Bethany Frankel, and you're watching In the Mix. In the Mix. Welcome to this episode of In the Mix at East Hampton Studio on VVH TV. I'm Gina Jordan, sitting here with none other than Mrs. Dina Lohan. Hello, Dina. Hello. We've been on the red carpet mm -hmm. together, and then now we're doing this in-studio thing, which is like... Congratulations, thank by you. the way. It's, kind of, it's funny, though, this format. Is yeah. it weird to see me like looking all anchor-like? No, you look hot. It's I good. Look, cool. Okay, we're working it, guys. What do you think of the set? I love it. It's beautiful. This is very cool. Who do you recognize there on the Oh my carpet? goodness, like everyone. My mom is a beautiful woman and she's amazing. Oh. I like that. Can you play that again? That's <laughs> my mom is a beautiful woman and she's amazing. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> do you remember what that shot was from? Oh gosh, it was a premiere of, I don't actually. It's a great dress though. No, that is a great dress. <laughs> Lindsay is not your only child. You have three other children, <laughs> right? Michael, Allie, and Cody. Mm -hmm. Now, Cody's how old now? 16. Wow, God. He's a surfer. He's amazing. Soccer player. He's just a great little guy. He just got his permit, which is kind of scary. Another low hand on the road. Another low hand. They'll be writing about that someday, <laughs> somewhere. I don't know. Okay, you said that. I didn't, say, just I didn't say that one for the record. You said it. It's what it is. <laughs> Allie is where? Is she in L.A.? Allie's New York, L.A. Cool. With Next Models. Cool. She's taller than all of us. She is. 5'9". She... Yeah, and you I, haven't seen her in so long. She was only, what, maybe like a little over five feet? And then mm -hmm. she like shot up shot to the model up. height. Yeah. And they've tried to ridicule, I mean, in the press, they just were mean. We want to make fun of some of those rumors. So a little later in the show, we'll, we'll attack some of those rumors. We want to first introduce you to the staff here. The in-studio version of In The Mix is fun because we get to get the staff involved and everything. Mm -hmm. So here we go. I'm going to introduce you to a few people. Um, you may know of your sibling out I there. don't know him. I have no idea who he is. Okay, I'm Paul. kidding. Give it's away. my brother. There he is. And, and there's his girlfriend, Joan. Now, Paul and Joan, they're snacking on <laughs> sandwiches from the clan man. Are they good? Now, Edie and Sean, we love Edie and we love Sean. There's Tarek Audio. There's Sal from Sweet Cyanide. Love his band, by the way. Aaron McNeil does celebrity <laughs> makeup and hair. Farah, our producer, you met Farah? Yes. Bryn and Adrian, now they're- So cute. Their set PAs are adorable. Okay, Paul <laughs> on the camera over here. Jason, you know, for years, Jason was with Boulevard Magazine, okay? You and did then, my first interview, actually, I remember that. Wow. Long time Aww. ago. Okay, Ryan, directing, he's holding one of the GoPros. Be careful, because he edits the show also, so be nice to him. One of the best people, though, on the set is our cameraman here, the main camera, Beto. Because Beto. he makes homemade margaritas, because he is from oh God. Mexican descent. Are we descent. on Andy? We're on Bravo now. <laughs> Local. This isn't real, it's fake. Just Local saying. Andy. All right, so Cheers. homemade. Thank you, Beto. <laughs> do we have to taste it? Yes, okay, we do. Okay, we're going in. <laughs> <laughs> They're really strong, but they're really good. Thank you, Beto. What would I do without Beto? You know you're gonna reach for that. Just leave that there. But they're good though, aren't they? Good. They're really, they're strong this Lovely. Morning. It's Sunday though, folks. So last night, you hung out in the Hamptons. Yeah. Did you go to Chase 23? Seriously? Yes, did? I did, actually. Okay, it's a chair? What? What is it? No, they do, um, they have bungee cords. It's, a, it's like a new eclectic workout. They really work really? you out. Work your tush out? Yeah. Now, kind of. who else was in the class? Um, I didn't actually work out. <laughs> I will. I'm working on Dancing with the Stars, so I'm trying to get in shape. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you, you're like announcing that um, on the show? Well, no. Well, we can, but okay. we'll... No, let's. That's a good thing. Wait, so you're working out to work towards potentially yes. being on Dancing with the mm -hmm. Stars. That's huge. Mm -hmm. You know you're going to have the sick... I mean, you're already like <laughs> very thin, so Dancing with the Stars, you're going to be emaciated? Um, or no. just Or just like muscular? <laughs> Yes, and hopefully. I'll just need oxygen in the back. 
No, because they really work you out hard. It's really grueling. I mean, you've heard they of, of athletes and stars. Yeah. They cry like babies it's really after the tough. first two weeks. And you have to learn. Uh, the choreography is like, I mean, in like five weeks. That's all you have. Is this, a defi- so. is this definitely happening? Um, We'll see. That, that'd be mm-hmm. fun. Are you ready to dress up in those like really no, like, little outfits? No, absolutely they all wear, not. Like, nothing. They're like, no. Do you know who would be? I need help <laughs> in certain areas, do, but no. Do you know who would be your teacher? I don't know. I want that hot Italian guy. I don't know what his name is. but They're all pretty good looking. Yeah, but, but they're all so talented. All right, so one of the things that we do here on In The Mix is we go down memory lane. I know that something that's more important to you than anything else are your children. I'm a single mom of four, so I've raised them pretty much by myself with the help of my family and my parents. So how cute, adorable. <laughs> that was a Halloween costume. <laughs> was it? Mm-hmm. What um, <laughs> is she like? A Jasmine of the mm-hmm. so cute. How old is Lindsay there? Oh gosh, she's about five. Aww, so that would be my son, Michael the Ninja. He's 24 now. He's going to hate me for this. <laughs> Is he really? So he's living in the financial district. He's not going to be happy. He's actually starring in a film I'm producing called Growing Defiant. It's an anti-heroin story, a positive drug story. Very cool. Shooting here on Long Island. So. That's cool. All right, so Lin- it goes Lindsay, Michael, Ali, Cody. Aliana, Dakota. Was Lindsay's first gig the Jell-O commercial? She's done over 60 commercials, but yeah, that was with Bill Cosby. <laughs> it was actually really cool. <laughs> Were you on set? It was before Rappers. <laughs> they rapped. It was hot. Okay, so after the Jello commercial was her first gig, and then what was the, her next Guiding gig? Light, a soap opera. And then they approached her to audition for The Parent Trap. Which Hollywood, changed. which is weird. I mean, I was a New York dancer. I didn't really know anything about L.A., so that was huge. We were on the road seven months, three weeks, and two days. Wow. Nancy Meyer's like, we're going to work through Christmas. I'm like, no, I'm going home. <laughs> We're done. Really? Yeah, it was really, really hard. You know, I, had, I was a single mom dragging my kids along. Like, I didn't know much about Hollywood, you know. So, but Nancy was amazing, and she said, your life's going to change. I'm like, no, it isn't. And it certainly did. Not quickly, but. I know Lindsay's talked about how it was a hard transition from after that experience to go back Well, to I school. pulled her out. She was offered several movies. They couldn't find us in Hollywood. We just hit out. And, you know, I was going through a divorce, so it was very difficult being a single mom. I was living at my parents' house, so I just said, no, you have to go to school. We're going to just, like, get out of this. What happened, the transition was she saw all her friends, Misha Barton and all her New York friends, moving forward in their careers. She's like, I want to do this again. I'm like, are you sure? I'm like, okay. So then we got back into Mean Girls and all the other brilliant movies with Tina Fey, who's a genius. That movie She produced amazing. that movie. Yeah, yeah. No, of course, it's an amazing movie. Directed. She was incredible. And all the other girls in that film are clearly famous now. All right, so that changed your life because all of a sudden the Lohan name was known, right? Mean good, bad, or indifferent. Good, bad, or indifferent. <laughs> how, how did that affect the rest of the family that live here locally on Long Island? Um, it was hard for them in school. You know, they, my son punched out a few kids. You know, Michael, like he had, you know, there was a lot of bullying going on. So they would read things that weren't true. And, and Lindsay was kind of the first crew with Paris and Lindsay and... Ashley Simpson and those girls, like, mm-hmm. I think that was the tabloid just became weekly. Mm-hmm. And they never had that before. You know, when I grew up, I read Vogue and, you know, all these beautiful magazines, and they didn't talk about anyone. But then it just went viral. So it was tough for them. They were the first crew of girls that got hit pretty hard with negative. We've tried to fight some of the negative. Oh, God. We went mm-hmm. together uh, to L.A., Yes. And um, we were doing an inside story for Entertainment Tonight and Insider, but with the spin turning the camera back on the paparazzi. Unless you're in my my skin, you don't really know what's happening. And, you know, they take a picture of Alec going at someone, but they don't tell what the other side is doing. But remember how you and I talked about actually creating laws for certain Mm -hmm. people under a certain And they're still not. Right. We're working on it. Certain different cities, Nashville has a... Stalker law, they don't have it in Los Angeles or New York. You know, they don't have that. Well, so. some people say, look, you're famous, tough, it's your mm-hmm. problem. Yeah. But when you're under a certain age, do you really have No, but I mean, like, stars with children, they shouldn't photograph them. I mean, there's a time and a place. And, and certainly you're in the business, you're in the public eye, but leave them alone. Let them go buy Starbucks and drive their cars. And, you know, there's a, there's a time and a place. Coming up, we have your latest project. And we're also going to talk about, we're going to dis- set the record straight 
when it comes to some of the low hand rumors. <laughs> I'm just laughing because there's so many of them. <laughs> All right, drink. She needs something. <laughs> I, I, what? I'm trying. <laughs> I, I actually think it's going to be a fun game. Okay. You're going to have fun. All right, so when we come Paul, back, are you ready? My brother we're going to have fun with Gina setting the record straight Help so me. don't go anywhere. In the mix. Live musical events, Broadway flying high in the Hamptons. Hollywood's go-to space out east, home to VVH TV and quality award-winning programming. East Hampton Studio. 2012, here we go. Bam! From a private intimate wedding celebration to a Hollywood movie set, East Hampton Studio is the ultimate raw space that can transform your event into reality. 35,000 square feet, 46 foot ceiling. High quality system out here, which is of concert quality, theatrical lighting capabilities, the beautiful LED screen that you see in the background. For your next event, think out of the box. If you can dream it, East Hampton Studio can create it. The hottest theme song on TV. In the mix with Chris Rock. I'm Alec Baldwin. I'm here with the gorgeous Gina. I'm Larry King, and you're watching In the Mix. I'm Kelly Ripa, and you're watching In the Mix. I'm Matt Lauer, and you're watching In the Mix. I'm Kathy Lee. And I'm Hoda. And you're watching In, In the, the mix. mix. I'm Bethany Frankel, and you're watching In the Mix. The popular red carpet entertainment series, In the Mix, hosted by me, Gina Jordan, is expanding to a weekly 30-minute series. Homemade margaritas. Mmm. It's so refreshing. I can't even stop her from drumming. Truth or myth, oh Allie Lohan has had cosmetic enhancements. <laughs> That's hilarious. In the mix, In look the at mix. you. Do you all make out at once at any point? We don't really have a three-way. I want that hot Italian guy. Good for you. Catch a new In the Mix episode 11 a.m. and 10 p.m. every Saturday on VBH TV. Channel 14 on Fios, Channel 78 on Cablevision, and 1111 on Time Warner. Every Sunday, log on to InTheMixShow.com to watch In The Mix online. You are in the moment. Let me ask you this. What do you think of In The Mix? You are in the mix. In The Mix. Welcome back to In The Mix. On VVH TV, I'm Gina Jordan, and I am sitting here with Mrs. Gina Lohan. <laughs> Mrs. Gina Sullivan. Would you, would you get married again? Yes. You would? Really? Like mm -hmm. like a big wedding? Like or tomorrow. It's very difficult and, yeah, to I find someone. To... Even in our business, it's it's hard. You don't know if they're real or they're just using you or whatever. Right. right. So that is a challenge for you. Mm -hmm. Speaking of new projects, you mm -hmm. have Drama Mamas. That's kind of like a negative name, no? Um, is that the intention? No, it's actually a brilliant show. Um, my producer, she worked with Diane Sawyer for years, and she won an Emmy for a docu series she did. But it's it's um, it's an hour long documentary series, kind of it's kind of like High School Musical meets Smash live. Cool. We're taking an eclectic group of actors. They have to sing, dance, and act. But the twist is we're we're also auditioning the parents or the mama dramas or whatever they are. Um, the parents, it could be an uncle and aunt. Um, Anyone that, that schleps them around and, and is there for them to follow their dreams. This is something close to my heart that I really want to focus on real talent. You know, reality has gone a little, you know, whatever it is, it is. But I want to focus on um, helping kids. Which you've always said you wanted to do mm -hmm. that. You try, you fulfill that for your own children. Mm -hmm. All of your kids. Whether they're kids. actors, I mean, you know, any, any parent wants to do that for their children. Whether they're athletes or whatever, you just kind of give up. And it's kind of showing the parent or, or the mentor that's helping them fulfill that. My and it's a lot of hard work. That. You know, the, the, the word, <laughs> <laughs> well, they did something right. I'm just saying, she's you, in the mix. I'm in the so. mix. <laughs> Actually, we have a clip to show people what Drama Mamas is about. Ladies and gentlemen, break is over. How are we doing? Good. All right, so I have Miss Dina Lohan with Woo! us today. <laughs> Guys. And she has been watching you guys. She's loving the dancing. Awesome. You're looking so great. And so I thought that we might teach her a tiny oh, bit. Oh, God. Yeah. All Five, six, seven, eight. Stop. Drive. Oh. Look at those legs. Drama Scary. mama. Drama mama. Okay, so what were we just watching? Um, these are the children that were auditioning. They were fabulous. I mean, just amazing voices. I wish they showed them singing because they were just incredible. And I, I had the opportunity to sit with the parents or the mentors or the aunts or the uncles, whoever, you know, is grueling. They had, 
they learn this in like 20 minutes. Like the whole choreography. They just, they, they give him, you know, song sheets and everything and they just had to learn it like quickly and they were amazing. It's like a Broadway show audition. You know, this I've is, done that in my day. You've you know? always talked about doing a show like this. Yeah, and time. more about it. It's more about even the parents. You know, I, I, the one thing I told them, everyone's like, what did you tell them to do? And, and what I learned in, in my experience with Lindsay, I didn't know movies. You know, I, I mean, so I was in LA with all these like, you know, huge producers and directors and fabulous people and I mean the Meryl Streep's of the world and I just said stay in your lane, like don't take over the director's role, just sit back, hug your child when they come off, give them order, let them, you know, stay out of their lane, you be a mom, you be a dad or whoever it may be, but you know, just, just be there for the hugs, you know. Where did the so, name Drama Mama come oh from? Oh gosh, it was my producer that came up with that. Wait, well who's the producer? What's her name? Linda? Linda Sawyer. Okay, so later this year. So, Yep. People will be able to mm -hmm. find your new project. Which well, you can go on www.dramamamastv.com okay, so or at Dina Lohan. I also have a management company. I'm managing other actors. Lindsay's like, it's your turn. I'm like, okay, I can actually work now? Wow, that's cool. <laughs> so, you always work, though, because you've been behind Yeah, the but I mean, I wanted my kids to be safe. And, um, you know, when you're a single mom, you just embrace them. And, and now I can work. It's a behind the scenes of how to manage when you're well, in it's, the it's process. stars. We're creating stars. It's kind of like American Idol, but not, you know, it's, it's kind of like it kind, uh, Simon Cowell. It's kind of like his, but it's real. It's Broadway. It's, it's tough. Broadway's tougher. It is hard work. And, and it's rewarding. But what you're trying to show is the casting process and then an mm -hmm. end result, right? I like and it. the tears and crying and the parents, and it's, it's a lot of dynamics, you know, and it, I'm just trying to help them navigate the waters. What um, exactly is your role on the, the show? Your I'm actually working with the children and the parents and the choreographers, everyone. I'm kind of everywhere. I'm the drama mama. It's There's more than one drama mama. Well, it's me, but okay. I'm, I'm casting them as well because the dynamics of, you know, you know, there's some crazy moms, there's some normal moms, you know, they say I was a crazy, I wasn't because I grew up in the business as an, as an artist. Some of the mothers, you know, their attorneys are taking off work, they have to leave. It's, a, it's, a, it's hard. You know, I mean, me personally being a single parent, it was difficult. You know, I had to work as well. So. It has been difficult for you. I know because mm. I've been there firsthand and I've witnessed mm. a lot of the uh, obstacles that you've had to face working with your children within Hollywood. Right. And um, so I wanted to play a little game with you. Oh, God. We've tried to do this together for a long time <laughs> to dispel the low hand rumors, which mm. isn't easy. I mean, you talked about it seriously from the beginning of being a single mom and having to deal with Hollywood and then having to deal with paparazzi and dealing with the tabloids, which you spoke about earlier. So I thought it'd be fun to play a game, truth or myth. Here we go. On in the mix, it's truth or myth with Dina Lohan. The first truth or myth is... <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Are you a momager? Truth myth. <laughs> Can I do both? That was good. Um, actually, that that name is kind of derogatory. I think a momager. What does that mean? Like, I don't know who created that. I think it was in the day when I won't mention the talent who mother. The mother was a little bit crazy, and I think it just transcended and snowballed. I'm not going to say mm. on air mm. myth, but um, yeah. So I, I think it's a good thing that if you're a parent and you're just trying to help your child with their dream, fulfilling their dream. I, I, don't, I don't think it's a negative word. So hopefully we can change that with okay. our show. So, okay, so truth or myth, when it comes to the Lohan name and Lindsay's success, you try to get as much exposure as you can when it comes to the Lohan name now. What? Way myth. When you would go on Insider or Entertainment Tonight mm -hmm. and talk on behalf of your daughter, you always got a lot of crap for that. Well, I was very protective, and I wasn't, you know, my daughter's not a child. She's 24 now, so I wasn't going to, I was certainly not going to cut and bleed and not and, and talk about my, my personal life with my children. That's for her to, to say. So behind closed doors, yes, I'm a mother, but publicly, I don't think that's right to do. I mean, why would you go on camera then? To protect. To protect. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is a good one. You're going to like this one, because mm -hmm. we've talked about this before. Truth or myth, oh, Allie God. Lohan has had cosmetic enhancements. <laughs> That's hilarious. They, but they me. show, there is there is a shot that of Allie, I mean, she looks gorgeous in both of them. Mm -hmm. And she's modeling now. But there's one where they do look totally different. Do you think it's lighting or she lost weight or? No, she grew. I mean, she's 5'9 right now. 
she's a giant. So she, she really was going helped. through hormonal growth as a girl, woman, teenager. Oh, this is a good one. Oh, God. Truth or myth, Dina Lohan is writing a tell-all book about Lindsay Lohan. <sighs> myth. Way myth. Way myth. I certainly, that's for Lindsay to write her own story. This is about my story. And, Wait, and so you are writing a book? You're in mm -hmm. the process of writing a book? It's in the mix. It's in mm -hmm. the mix. Okay, cool. When, mm. when can we expect that to come out? So um, soon. Yeah. Okay, good. Truth or myth, Tina Lohan is a party mom. Way myth. <laughs> so party mom, where did you get, where did party mom You know, mom my ex, we, we were going through a, a serious divorce. He hired a publicist when he was incarcerated and just talked about negativity. And I never partied. I'd rather be with old people. <laughs> <laughs> but... Um, yeah, that's certainly not true. But I was a manager, so I had to go to events. And, you know, Jessica Simpson's dad went. They didn't write about him. And I guess you're not allowed to have a life. You're not allowed to be dating no. or going out. So I guess well, I don't, but we will now. <laughs> truth. <laughs> truth. Still playing truth or myth, your favorite game ever. Truth or myth, looking at this photo. Oh, my God. Dina Lohan is kissing her daughter, Lindsay Lohan. I don't know. I mean... What is that? Myth. <laughs> what is that? It's my birthday, and she's hugging her mother. It's so That's silly so that somebody How? took that shot. Wait, it's so it? beyond creepy. <laughs> so it's truth or myth with Dina Lohan, and here we are, that Dina Lohan is a soccer mom and also served on the PTA. Yeah, I can say truth. Look at those legs. <laughs> yeah, I have four amazing, normal. My son graduated summa cum laude from Ithaca. Yay, Ithaca. But um, yeah, Cody we're just... Is He's an in St. Anthony's. Soccer player. Yep, and a surfer, actually. So, but everybody I'm just can a see you with a soccer person. game. Mm -hmm. You go to a soccer game? Yes. Do you also make like I hot do. cocoa and like brownies for them? Um, not the hot cocoa, but mm. I bring brownies. You bring brownies? I don't make them, but I bring them. Uh, truth or myth, this photo is you as mom of the year. <laughs> truth. 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 Yeah, that was amazing. Um, and these women do that. so much charity. It's not just about that. It's about working behind the scenes. We don't really talk about what we do. But my father he was on the board of St. Vincent de Paul, and he, he started Big Brothers of Long Island. Last one. Truth or myth, when Lindsay Lohan was in Playboy, you leaked the photos at a photo shoot? Absolutely not. Oh, God, Hugh Hefner would kill me. And I would never. That's creepy weird. No, absolutely not. Guys, was she not a good sport? Please. Give her around. All right, give me a paddle. You want to hit me with it? <laughs> Lindsay is now starring in a new film. She's been in the press frequently for Liz and Dick, right? Mm -hmm. So how is she doing? Give us the... I mean, she's so fortunate to play Elizabeth Taylor. I mean, she's an icon. So, I mean, it, it's Lifetime is doing it. It's an amazing story. The, the, the costuming is incredible and the jewelry, forget it. I mean, it's just, she's so blessed to Let's be able to play her. Let's show the photo of Lindsay as <laughs> Elizabeth. Amazing. And the actor that plays Richard Burton, but he's an Australian amazing actor, and he actually looks like him. So, I mean, it's... Were you... I love Lifetime. I cry watching Lifetime. So, I'm a big fan of that. So, did you actually go to the um, set? I, I had her through pre-production. I was in L.A. three weeks just getting her ready. And there were just reports about exhaustion, her being unconscious in a hotel Well, she's working 21 hours a day. You know, when you're, when you're doing a feature film, there's a lot more time to, um, a lot more money and a lot more behind it. So this is a TV story. So they don't have as much funding, so they have to work long hours. I wouldn't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they have to work long hour, you know, long hours and get, and you know, you're in hair and makeup. She's transforming herself into another person. So, wigs and hair and how makeup and jewelry. How long did that take? That look. How long? Oh gosh. Um, I mean, they only give her four hours. On a feature film, you'd get eight. Is she loving oh, it? Oh, she love. I mean, to play Elizabeth Taylor, it's a dream. I mean, any actor would want to do that. It's so, a dream for very her. Very fortunate. Is it true that Elizabeth Taylor gave her a ring? Yes, it's really weird. Um, she was shooting another movie like years ago. She never met her, but she wrote a little note and she came out with House of Taylor. She came out with her own jewelry. Oh, that's you know, right. Yeah. So she sent her a ring and it's kind of. How did they meet? Beautiful. How did they know each other? They didn't meet. She just sent her it because she just loved Lindsay. It was weird. It was really? very strange. Yeah. So she's looking that's down on her. She knew at the time that Lindsay mm -hmm. was an actress, one mm -hmm. of the starlets of. And she Hollywood. wrote this lovely note just 
saying how talented she thinks she is. And That's really interesting really because sweet. now it really is coming full circle. And she's she was gorgeous. Oh. And, you know, she was... Did you ever get to meet her? They have a lot of similarities. No, I haven't, un unfortunately. But um, they have a lot of similarities because the press followed Elizabeth forever, negatively mm -hmm. or positively, but they always followed her. So Lindsay can really relate to who she is as a person. Did Lindsay ever get to meet her? No. Interesting. They're that's, kindred spirits. That's really interesting. What kind of research did she do? I'm sure she did some. Oh, God, tremendous. Every movie she's watched, Lindsay really knows her craft as an actor, so she really worked it. So when does this film come out? When do we know um, yet? This comes out in November. Okay. November of 2012. On Lifetime. Very cool. I think it's going to, I think that a lot of people are going to oh, watch. Oh, it's incredible. Don't move because we're going to feature our first restaurant of the week. And give a nice round of applause as we I go think, out for Dina I Lohan. I think we got that. Don't move. <laughs> Woo. In the mix. Live musical events, Broadway flying high in the Hamptons. Hollywood's go-to space out east, home to VVH TV and quality award-winning programming. East Hampton Studio. 2012, here we go. Bam! From a private intimate wedding celebration to a Hollywood movie set, East Hampton Studio is the ultimate raw space that can transform your event into reality. 35,000 square feet, 46 foot ceiling. High quality system out here, which is uh, concert quality, theatrical lighting capabilities, the beautiful LED screen that you see in the background. For your next event, think out of the box. If you can dream it, East Hampton Studio can create it. East Hampton Studio on VVH TV. I'm Gina Jordan. I'm actually very excited because for the first time ever, we're showcasing Restaurant of the Week. And for the first restaurant, we have Georgica. Take a look. Hey, I'm Gina Jordan, and you are in the mix. Here we are in the mixes. Restaurant of the Week is Georgica in East Hampton. Georgica, they have that energy that I love. From Jay-Z to Gwyneth Paltrow, Georgica has become a celebrity hotspot out east during the summer season. We've chosen Georgica as the first restaurant on the show to be honored. So how do you feel? Wow. You've been chosen by the mix. I mean, I, I appreciate that. Thank you. I mean, obviously we're humbled. Uh, to be honest, when we started the project, we I didn't think I would be here four years later. We still are the most difficult place to get a reservation for on the weekend. and. Uh, we constantly strive to make things better. What is it about Georgica Restaurant that makes people want to come back again? We have the Hamptons feel that we wanted to create, and it, it just works. Every weekend we have a top DJ come in, uh, celebrity DJs. We have celebrity hosts all the time. We do charity events all the time, uh, and it, it's usually the place where everybody ends up. Seth Levine and Robert Hess are the top chefs behind Georgica's infamous dishes that keep Hamptonites craving more. What are the most popular dishes that you're anticipating for the 2020? 12 summer season set. Our truffle lobster mac and cheese is one of the best sellers here. Our scallops here are known all over the Hamptons um, and have the unbelievable country corn pudding underneath it. There's seared scallops topped with a quail egg and then an uh, apple cider reduction that goes around it. So it's, it's, I'm it's, salivating. Georgia houses many charity events over the season. Most recently, supermodel Jessica White hosted her annual gala to benefit the Angel Wings Foundation. Who inspires you personally? You know what? My sisters, Pam and Tanya, Pamela and Tanya White, those are the two strongest women. The reason why domestic violence is a part of the Angel Wings Foundation is because I watched as a young child my sisters become abused. And I set out tonight and wanted to prove to them that their story and the tears they cried and their black eyes and their bloody lips. And I'm getting emotional talking oh about it. This woman, I love you. You're gonna make me cry. Where can people go so that they can donate or find out more about what you're doing this summer? Go to somalimam.com. They have um, their website. Donate to them personally. Uh, girl crush, right here. You're amazing. In the mix. That's gonna do it for this episode of In the Mix. I want to give a very special thanks to Mrs. Dina Lohan. Can we get some claps for her? She actually was a great sport. Thank you, GoPro, Beto for the margaritas. Paul behind the camera, Ocean Productions, VBH TV, the Shinoji Brothers, South Shore Signs and Graphics for this awesome cutout, and a very special thanks to Clam Man Seafood Market. Those sandwiches were amazing. So uh, we'll see you next time. Catering provided by the Clam Man Seafood Market Caterer in Southampton.